Hello guys, today we're going to make some soap and the first thing you have to do when making soap, handmade soap that is, is you have to protect yourself. So we're going to get our gear on and then we're going to get started. You have to always make sure to protect yourself because we don't want anyone getting hurt with soap making because soap making is very, very, very dangerous. But remember to have fun. Okay. So just about there. But one can never be too safe with soap making. You're gonna need safety glasses, and you might sometimes want to double up just to be even more safe. Okay, we're almost nearly there. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to begin. Um, <laughs> today we're, 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 we're going to make some soap and the very first thing you're going to need is, um, some, um, um, <laughs> maybe some, some, some color, <laughs> some, some colorants. You're going to need lot, lots of these. Hey guys, so today we're going to be making soap and what you're going to need is you're going to need some spatulas and then you're going to need some colorant and then you're going to need your oils and your lye and everything that you need to make soap. So the other day I was like walking to the mall and I was going to go in there because I was going to see if they had like any type of soap making stuff because you know it's like really hard to find soap making stuff in my area but I couldn't find any so therefore I was just walking through and I saw this really cute pair of shoes. I was just like whoa dude those were like super cute. So then I went to the store and I was like looking for a six and a half and then it was like well um, we don't have any six and a half. And I was like, what? What do you mean you don't have any six and a half? So then I was like, you know what? Sometimes I can get away with a seven. And I asked her for a seven. And she's just like, uh, we don't have seven. I'm like, what? So then I was just like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do? So then I left the mall, and then I came home, and then I cooked dinner, and then I got on the phone with Gabe, because Gabe was just like, you know, he had to work a whole lot, and then I was just like, well, when am I going to see you? What time are you going to be home for dinner? And he was like, he don't know. And so then Hunter came in, then we just started talking, and then after that, you know, I got really tired, and then, oh, I started watching this new show on Netflix, and it was just like, oh my god, this is so funny. Hello guys, today we're going to be making soap, handmade soap that is, and what we're going to need is a spatula. It must be a silicone spatula because they are the best for scraping your bowls. Next you're going to need some colorant. And it has to be a certain colorant like a mica. Today we're going to use a mica. With this mica, it has titanium dioxide, mica, chromium oxide, green. It is FDA approved for face, for eyes, for nails, and no lips. <laughs> Hey guys, today on my channel we're going to be doing some soap making and I had some great ideas and I'm going to explain every step that I'm going to do with soap making. Um, I picked out some really cool colors and um, hold on one sec guys. Oh, <laughs> my mom called me. I got to call her back. Hold on for a second. Hey, 
What's going on? Oh, I'm just filming a video for YouTube. Yeah. No, I can talk. Yep. <laughs> so I was thinking like maybe tomorrow we can go out for lunch. Um, probably after I get off of work. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So no, I can talk. I can talk and do both. So hold on for a second. All right, guys. So sorry about that. So what we're going to need is um, our oils, which I already have. You already have them melted. No, no, uh, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me get it. Okay. Let me get a piece of paper. All right. Okay, yeah. Uh-huh. And next, you're going to need some lye. You just take your lye, you pour it in here, and then you're going to need um, a stick blender, you know, this right here. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I got to go find my, my beater to my stick blender. But once you get that done, you guys know how to do that part. So, yeah. All right. So, um, mm -hmm. no, no. Yeah, I thought that was... Yeah, I watched that last night. That was so funny. So, next, I'm going to be separating my colors. And, um, oh, you want to call me back? No, I, I can talk and do both. Okay, well, I'll just talk to you. I'll call you when I'm finished. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was my mom. So, um, I guess you guys got to quiet in here. Let's get some music. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So, now, next, you're going to need, um, I'm going to use some titanium dioxide. That's going to be the color that I use in here. And then next, I'm going to uh, probably, let me see, I got to get my mold and my stick blender. And <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot I was still filming. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. Once you get all that done, and I guess once you put your lie in, then you're going to be ready to go ahead and start pouring it off, and then you can pour it in your mold. Today we're going to... What? Oh, I thought somebody called me. <laughs> Hello. Today on Royal Appleberry, we're going to be making soap. And with making soap, soap is just so magical and it's so calming. And it's the best thing, the absolute best thing in life that you can do. It's very calming. It's very relaxing. And it's just a form of creativity to express all the wonderful ideas that you have flowing through you and you're able to turn to a beautiful work of art that people can wash their bums with. I love soap making, and I know you do too. So let's get started. Okay, so today you're gonna need your oils. You're gonna need your lye. You're gonna need some colorants. Along with those colorants, you're going to need a stick blender, a spatula, and before you do all of that, you need your safety gear. Hello guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a butterfly swirl. It's really simple. Anyone can do it.
Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be making a soap that I've just been sitting and thinking about. And I said, you know what? I'm going to challenge myself. So with today's challenge, I'm going to be using 72 colors. Every color you see back there, I'll be using. And I came up with my own special blend that consists of 103 fragrance oils. It's going to be fun. Let's get started. So today we're going to be making soap and um, first you're going to need all your ingredients and once you get all your ingredients then um, I just like to make a chart and when I go from my chart I'm going to do um, I write down everything that I'm doing and then that way I can keep a log of everything that I'm doing because it helps me the next time that I make soap. And the next thing you're going to need is um, your lye and you're going to need your oils and um, your colorant. Okay, so once you have all that, then I think you're ready to make soap. Let's get started. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um <laughs> Um, I went over all these different characters because I've come across many different types of soap makers. I might be one of all of these soap makers. I know for sure before you guys point out, I know that I am the <laughs> oversharing chatty type. Um, I am the clumsy. I am I'm quite a few of these on here, but let's just say I am not the magician <laughs> or the mind-blowing soap maker that just everything they do is just like, seriously? I mean... <laughs> But it doesn't matter what type of soap maker you are. As long as you are having fun, there is no right way to be a soap maker. There is no wrong way to be a soap maker. Everybody has their own style, including myself. Because, I mean, I've heard many, many times, oh, Kenny, you talk too much. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I guess you can go to one of the other soap makers in this video. Whatever suits you, whatever works best for you. And especially when you want to start your own channel. Um, I hear so many people say, oh, I just don't know what to say. Um, I don't know what to do. Just be yourself. If you're the mind-blowing I mean magician of a soap maker if you're clumsy if you're overly chatty if you don't talk at all it's perfectly fine it's your channel you could do whatever you want as long as you love what you're doing and people love to watch you create art then go for it so the whole purpose of this uh video was to let you guys know that there is no wrong or right way to be a soap maker on youtube it's all about having fun and doing something that you love and making soap that's pretty much all to it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, in the comment section below, let me know what type of soap maker you are. You don't have to be a YouTuber because, I mean, just being at home and making soap or whatever, you know, if you just film for yourself, just see how you improved over the years. Put it in the comment section below to let me know what type of soap maker you are. I would love to hear your funny stories or... Um, just the type of soul maker that you are. So guys, that's it. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do be sure to give a like, which is a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment if you've made it this far in the video and you like what you've seen. Please do be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you part of my stinking awesome crew. So guys, that is it. That is all. Be awesome and amazing at everything you do. And yes, I am the chatty soap maker right here. If you like the chatty, come to my channel because I am that gal. All right, guys, that's it. Until next time, see ya. Hello, it is I, the guru of soap making. Thank you, I just want to say on the behalf of that one girl, um, Ginny, the, the messed up soapa, um, uh, thank you for joining her channel and watching her videos. Um, I'm only giving thanks because she allows me to come on her channel, hence... Uh, me not having one yet, but she allows me to come on. I lie to her and tell her that I'm going to say something very nice on for her behalf, which um, I never will. But uh, yes, I just want to come on and say thank you for tuning in because I know you all want to see me, the guru, not all of that other stuff. And I want to tell you all that... Um, if you are any of those other soap makers, you're not a good soap maker. Because you're not the guru. <laughs> so guys, uh, be sure to tune in. I don't know when the next time I'll be here because 
I'm pretty sure she's going to be the one to edit this video and she's going to hear all the horrible things I said about her. Although horrible, but true. So until next time, guys. Toodaloo. Oh, and one more thing. I know a lot of you probably think, um, but Guru, you and Kenny are the same person. And to that I say, that's utter nonsense. We cannot be the same person because clearly I'm a guru and she's not. So that clearly defines our spot. You may think because we often have on the same outfit. Well, let me let you in on a little secret. She is a swagger jagger. That's why we often look alike. She peeps in my window to see what I'm going to wear, runs off to the nearest store she can find, and purchase my same outfit and put it on when she's filming. And I think that is the most insulting thing I've ever encountered. That is all. Toodaloo.